Perfect. Well, I appreciate you coming on with me and uh, answering a couple of questions. How are things going for, so far? Uh, what, what's life like in th this week in Ohio? Yeah, things are good. Uh, other than being in the same, you know, hotel room for two weeks straight, um, everything's great here. It's, uh, you know, a city and a golf course that I really like and have had some good experiences on. And so I really, I really enjoy being here and I'm looking forward to uh, defending at Memorial here this week. So the commute from last week's event wasn't so bad? No, very seamless. <laughs> Perfect. It's, w wouldn't it be great if all of our all of our travel at this point was was that seamless? Um, I suppose I, I want to ask you a couple things to, just to start out with. We we saw a lot of guys taking to social media during the break and going in there and and basically doing Peloton rides and trying to find golf where they could. For the most part, it seemed you were laying pretty low. And I know that you put out one post showing. It looked like a short game session in your backyard, maybe. But what did you do during the break? What was uh, what were some of the, the the weeks like for you? Yeah, I, you know, we don't get a big layoff uh, with the new schedule, and it seems like we're playing tournaments all over all year round. And so, uh, I just took a couple, you know, a couple months and just really took a break. I was going to wait until uh, we had like a, a, a real schedule going forward before I, uh, you know, started back. Uh, really practicing and playing and uh, you know I enjoyed it for the first couple of weeks maybe even a month and then I got antsy uh, you know we're not used to being in the same place uh, for very long especially at home and so you know, I enjoyed it for for the little you know uh, or I enjoyed it for what it was you know I was able to, to read and really uh, recharge my batteries and, and just kind of lay low at home uh, which I do enjoy but like I said by the time a schedule came out. I was excited to practice and prepare and get ready uh, to play golf tournaments because it's one of the things I love to do. So your first event back with the restart of the PGA Tour was at the Travelers Championship. What did you have in mind wanting to sort of lay back and see exactly what was happening at Colonial and how things were going to go at Harbortown? Was it always that way or did, did you, because I know that that tournament is really where you got started. I mean, you've shot if I'm not mistaken, you shot a 60 um, as an amateur, or right as you returned pro when when you went to TPC River Highlands. Did you sort of see the schedule and was like, well, I've got some good vibes there. I'm just going to go there as my first one. Yeah, that was definitely part of the calculation. Travelers is, is such a great event and a tournament that I've played um, many times. And so it might even be the, the tournament that I've played the most. Um, so I think they said I maybe a six starts there or something, which is uh, more than any other tournament I've played. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it just seems like uh, I didn't want to, you know, rush back. I kind of wanted to see how it all played out and, and how it was working. I think the tour's done a great job. And so Travelers just made sense uh, to me when looking at the schedule as a, as a good place to start back up. Did the vibes at the event, I, so that that's my home game. I live about 20 minutes south of TPC River Highlands. And it felt to me like the environment of the vibe around the event changed as the week went on. We obviously saw Graham McDowell and Brooks Kepka, Chase Kepka, some other guys leave for various COVID related reasons. Um, even people who didn't test positive. Did it, did the feeling around the event as a player change as the week went by for you? You know, not, not for me, um, but it was my first event back. So, uh, you know, I haven't been to any of the other sites um, beforehand you know, Colonial yep. or, or Hilton Head. Um, but, you know, it didn't seem too normal or too out of the normal. I mean, it is, it is, everyone's experiencing this type of new normal for the first time. And so it doesn't surprise me that, you know, a few guys tested positive and the reaction that, that came with that. Um, I actually think the tour, like I said, handled it really well. And I think it's uh, commendable to those guys who, you know, took a step back and said, hey, just for the good of everybody, we're going to withdraw and make sure that we don't um, contaminate the bubble, I guess, is, is a terminology you could use. And, um, you know, I, I more think of that as a positive, that we were able to look at the big picture and be able to keep rolling and keep having golf tournaments opposed to a negative because, you know, positive tests are just going to be uh, a reality of, of the situation that we're living in. 
last question, and I really want to appreciate you giving me th this much time and thank also Mark from Golden Sacks for, for helping to hook this up. But this week, obviously, you're defending champion at Memorial, and I went back onto YouTube and I watched you sink the final putt uh, from last year's event. And coming off the golf course, Jack Nicholas shakes hands with Hideki Matsuyama, congratulates him on a, a really good event. And you and he shared what appeared to certainly, from what we could pick up on the TV mic, a pretty special moment. Jack said essentially that he had tears in his eyes, and he thought you probably should too, and he was obviously very proud he wanted a hug what what does it mean to sort of have jack nicholas arguably the greatest golfer of all time take such a personal interest in your career and and what was it like to win his tournament yeah obviously it was very special and he's uh you know potentially the biggest the you know the, the best golfer to ever play um definitely in the conversation with tiger and so the experience uh, was second to none and something that I dreamed of growing up winning his tournament at his golf course and I'm very fortunate to have him as, as one of my mentors and I can I feel like I'm able to call him and, and ask him uh, any type of advice uh, on anything and so I'm really appreciative to him um, you know for for being that role model for me and and you know helping me along the way um, and you know he's just a great individual he's very blunt very honest um, and we get along really well so I'm excited to see him again this week uh, as the defending champion in some ways was it a little bit surreal having all that happen just like that a little bit um, you know I'm still focused on winning the winning the golf tournament but uh, all of a sudden I was just kind of in that situation and and you know it's not like I said it's something you dream about but uh, it is a little surreal uh, doing it, um, but you know, like I said, the relationship that we had even before that week um, was was a strong one, and, and that just made it a little stronger and, and gave us both something to look back on and, and kind of enjoy together. Well, congratulations once again, and uh, on, on last year, good luck this week, and thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.